Hey everybody, uh, so it's been a while since I've uh, done a video uh, on Amizak, uh, thanks for joining me. So today um, we want to talk about uh, one of the options when it comes to the programming. Um, if you're somewhere in a tight spot um, and we're not, uh, the machine's cutting so we're just going to be doing another, about a program. So what we're going to do is uh, create a new program. So let's call our program number two. Uh, select previously stated. We go to Mesotrol program. Pick a uh, type of metal, so stainless steel, for example. Uh, max uh, out diameter. This is uh, actually going to be a diameter where uh, you're telling the machine how far to uh, retract. So, for example, if you're gonna tell her your metal or your sorry your material six uh, inches, every time she finish cut, finishes cutting, she's gonna go six inches, and then she's gonna retract to go home. Um, so, if it's uh, if it's two inches, and you know, uh, like I said, I usually go higher uh, in case if, even if I'm using a tail stock, just so she you know clears it, and I don't have to uh, mess with the clearance parameters. ID, I usually go zero. Let's say uh, length six. Now, um, stock face removal, we're gonna go with the zero. Uh, just for the uh, fact that, let's say, if you do make a part, if you're cutting a part, you're supporting, uh, let's say, with the tail stock and you trying to come as close as possible. And let's say, go as low as possible. So for example, like this, then obviously, if uh, you know you you don't want the pot, you don't want the tool to come under an angle. Let's hit your tail stock. So that's what we're gonna be talking about. Here. So 1200 RPM. As always, you create an end. Zero for continue no. Parts counter no. Return the tool change position. And work this program next. Okay. So we do insert. And let's go with turning, facing. We want to finish uh, 3000. Uh, we're going to leave the 35 degree tool. Depth of cut, let's say 20,000. Cutting speed 320. Speed 8,000 for PS, please. Now 400, point, let's say for a finish. 3000 feet rate and then coolant. And we're cutting, let's say, uh, from 4 inches. We're starting 20,000 before the face. Uh, final point X down to a zero, and obviously final point to zero, okay? So, in these situations, when you go to program and two path, and you do a part, and then we go to uh, scale change. Let's go here, and let's do point 0.5 part and when you look at this uh, the part when you do path continue you're gonna see how the tool travels sorry for the glare unfortunately let's go with one so we're gonna make it a little bit bigger so we see a little bit more so now you see okay I press the path continue you can also do path step and it's just gonna do like a, in a single block where it just goes steps by step where you have to keep pressing the button. So how you see over here, she comes in under an angle. So what if you, you know, let's say you, you have to watch and you got a clearance and you need, it, you need that to actually come out here. So what do you do? Go to program, program edit, you go to facing and on top, we have this icon and that just shows you you know it shows you the tool and pretty much mark okay so this is a uh, what do you call a TPC and what this thing does it gives you um, I mean I've heard like on the some some of the older models they actually had to use the parameters and you see the parameters here they might be different for the older generation I'm not sure but the machines on an and stuff that I worked, they always had uh, TPC built in 
it wasn't as nice as uh, you see the one on the Snow G. I think that Maze Act just, you know, done a very good job the way they, um, they pretty much uh, did that. So all this pretty much, it tells you, you know, your clearances, your, let's say, safety clearance out. Uh, this is going to be a pro OD turning. And we're talking about, let's say, safety control clear phase, right? So let's say this is a 78,000 and 7 pence. So let's say it's 20,000 here. Okay. And this is for your back turning and stuff like that. So once you're done, do PPCN. Okay. Now we go to program. Now we go to tool path. And this is, uh, like I said, this is your previous... Uh, this is your previous uh, travel lines. Okay, so now, see, okay, now this one went a little bit clear, but it still went under an angle. Okay, so we go back over here, and let's say you don't want it to come under an angle because you have that clearance issue, or you don't want it to because you, let's say, you have some long tools, you're supporting the tool, and you don't want that tool to come and hit the uh, uh, tail stuck. So we're going back over here, okay. Oopsie. Over here. And let me see what's going on here. Oh, what I did pretty much is, uh, let me shut this off. I have to do, you ha a, whatever TPC you do, and every time you do a TPC, you're gonna see that plus, like this blue plus or cross and whatnot. So whatever TPC for whatever unit you wanna do, you gotta press on it. So we go facing, okay, we press that icon here. And these are the parameters, right? So we told them the machine instead of, let's say, 78, uh, and then jump into, you know, cutting, uh, let's do 20,000. Uh, but, but it's still, uh, you know, she came uh, to the material under an angle. So where you change that is the relay, relay point, okay? Okay, and the relay point, you have these things when it says approach and escape. Okay, and you have them bo for both for roughing and for finish. So let's say if you set it up for roughing, you have a different tool and you didn't change it for finishing, you know, the roughing is gonna clear, but the finish is not. So you have to change both of them. Okay, uh, so let's say um, how to change it. Let's say we go auto, okay. Once you press that auto, you're gonna get two options manual and auto let's go with manual now let's say we want to uh, we want it to come come down to or come to let's say 10 inches uh, our part is four inches for example so 10 inches is much higher okay enter uh, Y you don't mess with and then Z let's say we're gonna try to 0 0.0 20 thousand right okay and then escape um with escape uh you, you didn't we didn't see a problem and same thing with uh with the finish there was not a problem but let's say uh if you do separate uh finish and let's say separate roughing and you do something else in between for safety also manual we're gonna go 10 again and then 0 0.020 okay you see then we go program to tape and then we do let's say path continue um let's uh okay, let's uh, i'm gonna clear this up so if you want to clear the lines you do path erase once you do path erase it's gonna clear the line so as you see it didn't do an angle now it came straight let's even go higher so we did uh, okay more magnifying so as you see it came from the top 10 inches here and then came straight straight uh, to the uh, straight to the point and then just retracted and went back home uh, sometimes what's good you can follow the numbers remember the only thing is that these numbers and uh, how we changed the numbers, there was a uh, uh, position display. It's gonna be numbers for the machine, or you click it green, and it's actually gonna show you the tooling, right? 
So let's say um, we go back here. Should I say come out of it? Do path part. Uh, do path erase. Okay. Shape erase and let's go part again. And let's do path step. Okay. So once you do step, I keep clicking it, and it's showing you that it's 18.6. Okay. Uh, 18.6 thousand. Sorry for the shaky video. Okay, and we go next step. 18.6. Now it went to 58 thousand. Okay, it went up to. It went up. Now it's at 20 thousand. Um, see, and now it's 15.6. And now what I'm talking about that 15.6, it's actually zero. Uh, why is that? Because it's showing you the radius of the insert. So let's say if your insert is, if you put a uh, radius for your insert 32,000, okay? And you're gonna see 32,000 here. She's not 32,000 from the Z, she's actually at zero. So now she's doing that finishing pass. So you have to add and subtract the, ra uh, the radius of the insert for some reason. For some reason, that, that's how she does it. Uh, that's how Mazik does it. Uh, so you just have to remember that that 15.6 and, or you know, 15.6 radius, or you, some people call it 16,000 radius. If you put a 16,000 radius, when she's gonna be cutting at zero, you're gonna see 16,000 over here. But if you go step by step, you'll see exactly the numbers. So 55, so now you see that she retracted, let's say 40,000. If this is not enough, you have to like readjust uh, your TPC, okay? Now let's do another example. So we do a cross, right, uh, sorry, right uh, arrow, turning. Again, let's say do we do turning. Uh, very simple, our material is three inches. We're starting from zero. We want to finish 10,000 on uh, X, 3,000 on a Z, uh, 35 tool is okay. Right, how we want to retract if we want it to go up or under 45 degrees, let's just go up. 50,000 cut, uh, which is gonna be 100, uh, 50,000 per side, so 100 up of diameter. Let's say 320 speed, 8,000 feed rate, M8. 420 uh, for the finish, let's say 3000 uh, feed rate, coolant, let's go with the line, corner 30,000, um, let's say 2 inches and we're going 5 inches deep, okay? So now, let's go here, part, and now we have a beautiful part over here, so we go path continue, okay. Oh, so actually what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna exchange the tooling, okay? So we go, we use 80 tool and go see, like 80 tool for rougher uh, because she's gonna behave differently because now she has to go back, change the tool, come back, change the tool and it's gonna be a different, um, it's gonna be different versus if she's using just the tool, she doesn't have to leave anywhere, right? Because she doesn't have to change the tooling. So we have a, so this is all path. Let's say a, a path erased and now it's gonna be, okay, so now you see what uh, what the 80 degree tool, see it, she acted, now everything acts totally different because you know, even that we have that TPC for the uh, facing, we don't have that TPC for the OD turning. So, you know, she comes under an angle. So it is same thing, it's, you know, when you do bar out, and you go into a TPC and let's say you know you do have a let's say approach you know you, we can change it um, let's say same thing manual and we do 10 now what's crazy about uh, the difference between face when you do face okay you do let's say 40,000 uh, you know or 20,000 and that's gonna be from the front of the face when you do OD turning, it's not gonna be a plus, it's gonna be a negative. So now you're telling her to come, let's say start for, uh, to come 40,000, because if you put her 40,000 on a plus, she will actually jam into the material 40,000 deep, okay? 
So this is very important for the face. It's a positive, okay, to clear the part. On the OD turning, it's it has to be negative, okay. Uh, and it's same thing as uh, it's. Uh, I'm sure there's a logic to it. A logic to it. Um, this is you know I've learned, and that's why, like I said, every time you mess with these relay points and and whatnot, like I said, with par parameters. So let's say you know safety clearance. We're going 20,000 now, which is gonna be normally, right? You just follow that. So it's 20,000, um, okay? And then reload point, it's gonna be, let's say, minus 20,000. So she's gonna come 20,000 before the phase, before she cut, you know, before she starts the cutting. Okay, let's say, you know what? And I'll actually show you what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna take that phase, okay? I'm gonna make it inactive. We're just gonna uh, do the OD turning. Program, tool path, part, scale change. Let's go one. Okay, this is with that TPC of minus 20. Okay, so she, she came to minus 20 here. Okay, before the part and she start cutting, right? Okay, let's do here, relay point. And let's do, let's say 20,000 on a plus. She's still gonna go higher and she's gonna re retract to minus 20, right? But if you do it very close to the part, um, I've seen somebody who actually crashed their machine doing that. Uh, so let's say, I don't know if it's gonna show you. You would have to, let's say, uh, kind of show you better. So we're talking about three inches, okay? So what I would have to do is tell the TPC relay point to come down to three inches and twenty thousand. Okay, two path part. Okay, path erase. Okay. So scale change. We're gonna do point two part exactly here. So uh, did you see what she did? She jumped into uh, 20,000, okay? So this is her first cut, right? It starts 20,000 before the part. So she jammed into the material, okay? That 20,000, retracted, and then went down and start cutting. So remember, always, when you do OD turning and you, you, you want the machine just to come right before the part because there's a clearance issue, you do OD turning, you do minus 20,000, Okay, for the OD turning, and you do plus twenty thousand if you're if you're trying to clear the face, and then remember, like when you look at the when you always look at the position, okay, and uh, always just uh, you have to add that radius not radius that you have on your insert. So that's how TPC pretty much works. It's an amazing option. Like I love it. I use it a lot. It's just you have to understand that you always go. When you're cutting the face, the whole thing is you go, let's say, from uh, extra stack to zero, okay? When you turn in OD, you go from zero, you know, into the minus really on the machine. And I'm, I've, I've, I'm guessing that's why, you know, they program the TPC the way it is. But um, I use it a lot and you can do it on uh, same thing internal when you're boring. Um, let's say here. If, you know, and that happens a lot is, you know, you do have a bore, you have a very small bar and one inch, let's say, okay, 240 and 20,000, let's say 300, 203 and 8, 420, 403 and 8, now we do line, let's say one inch, go three inches deep, and we go TPC and let's say, you know, your hole is uh, 850 and using a three quarter bar, you have like 20,000 stock uh, or like 30,000 opening. Um, and, you know, and there's not a problem with, with the clearance. There's a problem, you know, when the bar is cutting. So what, do you, what I usually do is let's say if my bar, I have 30,000 clearance, I got a three quarter bar. Let's say my hole is 850, for example, right? And uh, 
because obviously the answer is going to be high and always bigger than the bar and you have 30,000 I would start even tell the machine to start cutting at 880 you know then you go over here clearance radius you know go even 10,000 okay and then you have a roughing wall you know radius to go 10,000 here and then go 10,000 here or even 5,000 if you want okay and that's gonna help PPCN and another thing is what's gonna help let me see I usually don't do that but oh, let me see if this one helps okay this pattern okay we have option we have this one which normally retracts like this you know your bar is turning it goes down a little bit and then it comes out right if you pick this one the middle one what she will actually do she will cut like this and then come out under an angle and then come out okay and again it's gonna be like this and come out so it, you'll have more clearance the only thing is when you're gonna be clearing the face later when the bar comes in you know your uh, ID is already open so you don't have to worry about the clearance she'll have these steps to kind of clean up but that's how these things work it's you know that's what these are for it's for clearances and such and and stuff like that but it's like i said it's a great tool but anytime you use it in the beginning before you kind of get used to it use that you know use that tool path uh it's it's there for a reason and sometimes i've had it where like even let, let's say i had a part and i was doing a groove and for some reason um i remember oh it was it was in the groove it was a part like this it started off as zero then it was an undercut right here and it was a boring bar right so it was you know uh, cutting this out and then pretty much jumping into the material and and left you know and pretty much uh, and just left outside so it kind of ruined the insert um same thing is you know with the tpc you can avoid these things if you see something weird like you know it's cu cutting into material don't fucking risk it these things don't lie whatever you're gonna see on that uh, whatever you're gonna see sorry on this uh, tool path that's what the machine is gonna do there's an issue try to figure it out before you let it or even just let it run on the dry that way you don't crash if you don't crash you don't be you, you, you know you're not gonna get stressed out everybody's gonna be happy so uh thank you for watching and uh you know hopefully uh make another good video uh soon and uh it's uh we have a memorial weekend coming up so hope everybody has a nice day off uh, extra long weekend and use it uh, you know to relax and such uh, so take care guys and uh, see you next time